Something you should do when you're space planning in AutoCAD is utilize your XREFs, your external reference files. Now, the reason you do that is you want to have a structural plan underneath your facilities plan or space plan drawing. And it's much, much easier to do it this way because then if somebody updates the XREF structurally, i.e. puts a new wall in or a new door in or something like that, you will see that on the structural XREF and AutoCAD will prompt you to tell you that that XREF has changed. So what we're going to look at here is our structural plan and what we actually physically need on that structural plan. Based on the previous video where we were talking about blocks, obviously these blocks aren't needed in a structural plan. So I can select those and I can delete them like so. I would also delete all of your doors and all of your windows. Now I'm going to make the working files work here for you throughout this course. Don't worry about the positions of the windows or anything like that. I will make sure that they come back through in the working files as we work through the course. You don't have to memorize every single position of every single window, for example. But what we would do is we would remove all of them from the structural plan. Now, before we start, just before I forget, make sure if you want to follow along with the video, you open up structuralplan.dwg from your working files. I've currently got structural plan complete open. And by the time we finish this video, there won't be any windows or any doors. So just be aware of that and make sure that you open up the right working file, which is structuralplan.dwg. So starting at the top here, I'm just going to click on every single block. I'm going to click on them and I'm going to delete them like so. Just be methodical, take your time, there's no rush, and work your way so that what you end up with is a shell. The whole idea is you should just have a structural shell to work with. So I'm just removing each window as I go. Just take your time. This is a real simple, methodical thing. Be accurate, be precise. Use your zoom, use your pan. Now I'm doing it to make sure that you can see what I'm doing. But normally what I would do is I'd actually pan and zoom in much closer so I can see much more accurately what I'm aiming for. Maybe use a crossing selection like that, for example. But I'm making sure that I tidy up this entire drawing by removing all of the bits that I don't need in the structural plan. So I do that like that. So they've all gone. And there's a couple of dots there actually as well that were obviously from something previous, so I'll delete those as well. Double click on the wheel to zoom extent, and that's what your structural plan should look like. Now, before we go any further, one thing we do need to think about here is layers, blocks, and things that we don't need. We're not going to need our block libraries in our structural plan. This is just the shell, the outline, that we're going to trace over in the host drawing when we XREF this structural plan in. So we can use the purge command. So I type purge, press enter, and the dialog box appears. So you make sure that you pick this one here, view items you can purge, go to blocks. Now there's a whole load of blocks in there that I don't actually need. Don't need any of those in my structural plan drawing. So I'm going to lose all of those. I'll click there, come down to here, right down to the bottom, and hold down Shift and click on Window, and it will select all of those. And I'm going to purge all of those. So I click on Purge there, and all those blocks are gone. There's now these ones as well that need to go. So again, select those from the list, purge those out as well. So all the blocks have gone. Layers as well. Notice there's a whole load of layers there that I don't need. The gross internal, gross external. Now, you wouldn't have those in this drawing. They're a throwback to the previous videos that we've done. So again, layers. Just select all the layers that you don't want to use. They can easily come back later in another drawing. So what we'll do there now is we'll remove all of those as well. We'll purge those out too. Now I can bring those layers in using Design Center later from another drawing if need be. But I've tidied all of that up now. I'll close it. And then what I'll do is I'll save that with a known file name. Now I'm going to leave it as structural plan complete for you guys and your working files. When we go to the next video, you'll see that I've renamed that file when we bring it in as an XREF in the host drawing. But that's what you should do with your structural plan. Hone it right down, cut it down to the bone so that you've just got that shell to work with. So I would then save that, and then we're using that as an XREF in the next video where we start looking at our space planning host drawing.